Kraken. What is Kraken? Man, it is. Uh, it's almost eight thirty. I had to take oh, a little nappy poo. Oh, <clears throat> long Monday, y'all. Long Monday, <clears throat> to say the least. Excuse me. But my, um, my, uh, what's I meant to say? My tanks need attention. Um, my, uh, it's, 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 it's nearing the end of the year and it is all bad. What's cracking, you? It's all bad. You feel me? Um, nearing the end of the year. Got a bunch of stuff going on. Got to shut down a bunch of stuff. Got to get stuff ready for you. You already know what it is. What up, Jimmy? Just in case what's cracking. What's up with it? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it's just a whole bunch of stuff that's got, you know, that's going down. So I just got to, I got to, it's like a bunch of stuff I got to do, man. It's tiring, bro tiring so just got to get it together and i got to do summer school got to get that crack in got to do that d1 fish guy i've been meaning to hit back with you man i uh i got your email i'm gonna have to hit back with you i actually think that uh uh my interview putting you in the hot spot is gonna be what's up with it you feel me so I think I think we're gonna do that D1 fish guy straight up, and we can still do the video, no problem. Josh Rodriguez, what's cracking? Um, we're gonna see you in Florida for the Reef of Palooza. That needs to happen, right? That needs to happen. I, I'm 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 thinking this is my summer for going to everything except for Aquashella. I've given Aquashella six years, six seven six or seven venues of my time you know what i'm saying um i know what that one's about i have yet to go to a reef of palooza i have yet to go to any of the other major joints i didn't even get a chance to hit the circle city um i didn't get a chance to do the uh what's the one in kentucky i missed that one so um it's my time to try something else Just in case that the coral reefs are dying out. No. Uh, tell me more. Just in case. Like in like. Like the real. Like the ones that's in the ocean type for real. What's going on? Sunny G was cracking. Diver man. What's cracking? Amazing diver man is up in this joint. What's cracking man? Yeah. 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 Yes. It was up to everybody. Um, I had to hit you on the vertical joint because. Like I said, I took a whole nap. I didn't get a chance to put in my little drops that I usually like to put in. You know how I do. So I wanted to still come in here. Excuse me. And get with y'all. We do all the Reef of Palooza events now. So it would be cool to see you in Orlando. Wait a minute. Is this weekend? Oh, uh, yeah. No, that's that's not going to work, Joe. <laughs> I should. I needed to get me a, a more of a heads up. This weekend in Orlando. This weekend in Orlando sounds like. Oh, I can't even. There's nothing I can do this weekend. I got family stuff I got to do, y'all. Um, yeah, four, oh, four twenty, four twenty-one. That's you know, for those that blaze. That's about to go crazy. <laughs> that's gonna go nuts. <laughs> Uh, New York event this June is the New York event the the uh, uh, fish tuber fight night. It's about to be fire for sure. <laughs> oh, I would, I would, it would be amazing to see the diver man in his diver gear um, have a hot box come out of the uh, the helmet. <laughs> Oh, it's River Palooza, New York. I've never been to New York. Um, and River Palooza sounds like a great enough excuse to go to New York. That'll be dope. What part of New York is it in? 
What's cracking, Danny Westy? Glass box hero in the place, y'all. Uh, I'll come with. I'll come with the hands. What up, Coral? Uh, Metal Land Center. Okay. Uh, Glass box doesn't care for the vertical stream. I. I think I've only did like one other time. What is the difference? Like, what's the big difference? Why Why is it a uh, either you like it or you don't like it? Like, what is the, what makes you not like it? I know Danny will give me a whole recipe of issues why he doesn't like it. But I do want to know because I keep hearing that it's not, uh, a lot of people do not enjoy it for some reason. But I thought that's, uh, we'll see. For me, I always thought this is how live goes. Because even if we did live at the um, Mozzie, if I just pick up and go live, my phone is vertical. So I didn't think that was a big deal. Uh, when I do StreamYard, that's on the laptop. So I never went live. Uh, I never went live off of my laptop for YouTube. I only go I only do StreamYard on YouTube. I mean on I only do StreamYard on my laptop. I never do YouTube live on my laptop. I always do YouTube live on my phone. So there. There we go. All right, you either see the chat and barely the video or you only see the video. Okay, that's the problem that he has with vertical. Now for me, I see myself looking at the chat and I get to scroll. It's about half and half. So it, it's different viewing it than it is making it, I guess, or hosting it. Don't forget to like the live, fam. It helps a lot. Right on, uh, D1 Fish Guy. Fish Fam Link is in this thing. Just in case it's telling you guys to smash the like button. Can I smash my own like button? <laughs> Huh, huh. Oh, okay, I only do it once. What's cracking, Garcia? Garcia Quad X. What's cracking, man? Uh, I'm good with it. It's not good for the monitor viewing, but great for the phone viewing. Okay, gotcha. So, so technically, they instituted this vertical viewing strictly for f for the phones. Um, clearly, they uh, YouTube is going heads up against TikTok and Instagram because they don't have any side viewing. So I guess that's what it is. What's cracking legacy? Melly Mel up in this joint. When Garcia pull up is like Avengers Assemble. <laughs> right on, right on, right on. Yeah, man. We up in this thing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to make sure that I touch bases with you all, man, and let you guys know what's been going down. Um I went and visited Lady Diane yesterday. She gave me a couple of guppies for her family. Listen, you guys, a lot of um, Ali Rashid. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, a lot of students have been taking tanks home from the classroom and fish. Like, I'm almost out of fish for the summer. Um, I'm going to hit up Dan at Consolidated Fish Forums down there in Florida to send me some more for next year, of course. But um, I've got um, I've got a lot of students that have been setting their tanks at home. Um, they haven't really been taking the tanks from the school, so I still have school tanks left. But they've been kind of like going on Amazon and <clears throat> purchasing tanks, and they getting like mm -hmm. um, substrate and the whole nine. <clears throat> um, they've been getting the um, um, bacteria and the and the uh, conditioner and they was cracking toski woski uh and they've been setting up tanks and they've been coming in and going fishing in the in in the school in the classroom tanks they've been doing really well um it's like almost every other day i'm putting another setup out there i've been doing some small shorts on it my last shorts was one um one young lady who i just in class she's like jesus christ like yo you gotta like chill like everything sets her off but like after class she just becomes a whole different person and she i was like dude what happened to all that attitude you was given and woo, she was like uh sometimes it just be triggering me but 
I really do want a fish tank. Now, if anybody needs a fish tank to take care of and to kind of like corral that attitude and, and, and have something that is soothing at the crib is this young lady, right? So I was like, you really kind of like know what you're doing? She was like, yeah, I kind of was like listening when you were doing X, Y, and Z, this, that, and the third. She was like, I got a perfect place to put it. She showed me the picture. She did the water thing. She showed me the conditioner she used. I was like, word. So I actually gave her some Fritz 7 to, to pour in there just so I can make sure that it was fish ready. And um, she's been excited for her little fish. She went and grabbed, you know, she went in there and asked which fish she could get. And she went, it's, it's dope. It's dope. Uh, Pet Supplies Plus has some interesting selections currently. Emperor Tetras, which I, I do have some of them, some long fin double sword tails and some bleeding heart Tetras. That's dope. I definitely need to go check them out. Uh, I'm going to need that data from the school so I can bring it to bring it to the Puerto Rican in their uh, school system. All right. Ah, car just pulled up. <laughs> Drive by. Yeah. What's going on? A car? You up in this thing? And woo, woo, woo. I'm too familiar with that. I hope the tank helps calm her down for sure. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I, I hope so, too. And um, I hope she sticks with it, which it seems like they really are. I had another young lady who's been actually taking care of my tanks for me from the last class. Her and uh, her and uh, uh, my other student from the other class, they come in every seventh hour and they was like, yo, we finished our work. What tanks do you need us to do? They just filled up the um, tank in the... Um, in the uh, library, which is the guppy tank. Dude, I have got to show you guys pictures of those guppies, man. Those mutt guppies mixed in with those flamingo tucks, mixed in with those cobras, mixed in with those Japanese two tails. Not the endlers. The Japanese two tail light blue guppies, yes, have have created some mutts that are redonkulous in color. And they just like, they killing it, man. I saw something with a... With a cobra, with a cobra style tail that was flaming hot like a flamingo tux, and it had two tails. It had two tails, bro. It was nuts. Oh, I gotta go in there tomorrow, and uh, and I, I gotta I gotta show you guys some some uh, some vids of that, straight up. Uh, yeah, pet supply plus surprised me. What type of fish? You know what? After I saw Danny Wetchy when he was uh, working at Pet Supplies Plus, I didn't even know they sold fish. And I just had kind of went in there on a humbug, um, but they do have a nice selection of fish for real. Like, if you're tired of the mundane stuff at PetSmart and Petco, uh, Pet Supplies Plus is definitely a, a, a decent a decent spot. It's also great that you hearing that you're getting youth into new tasks, more fish, people to join the community. Yes, which brings me into another ask of the community now check this out it's it's I don't know for some reason I think things just happen to me because they just just the line you feel me check this out there's one thing that I noticed that all fish keepers or I'm sorry fish keepers fish tubers whichever one you call yourself that we all do can anybody guess? What is it that we all do, for the most part? I'm not going to label everybody as doing it, but we all also do something else. Think about this, and I'll give you a hint. What do you do first thing in the morning? You know what I'm saying? If you When you go check your fish, what do you do when, while you're cleaning said tanks or um, topping off said tanks or water changing said tanks uh, what do you do to keep yourself up 9 10 o'clock 1 a.m. 2 o'clock in the morning what do you do kid keep yourself up to continue talking on Garcia Aquatics or Aquafunk or uh, uh, Ryko Stan or whoever's up late night what are you doing while you're watching fish to car what are you doing when you're watching these fish tubers what else are you doing funky funk just came up here 
Best supply sounds like random fish that you want to see. Rope fish, bikers, synodonis. Aquafunk says fart. No. Just get all the essential, super popular fish, but then get some cool stuff for killing the offenders. Uh, seeing the same thing every single day. Justin, we want the funk. Gotta have the funk, says Sunny G. Watch other tubers, yes. Crack, says Jay. It's very similar to crack. Jay Rock does stuff, but it's very legal. It's not, crack is illegal. Like, if you're doing crack, stop. Just, I don't know. I mean, it's your life. But, it's very close to crack, and it's in a cup. What do you do? Chief went to the dome. <laughs> Keeps me decent all stream. I'll see you just in case. New local was cracking, Mike. Uh, cocaine. Wait, what is up with you guys, man? <laughs> like, why, why are you guys such addicts? This is nuts. <laughs> Coca -Cola. There you go. D1 fish guy. And just in case says drink. Just in case you need you need a uh, sponsor. You tripping? And look. D1 Fish Guy says coffee. Toski says fish. Uh, Toski says coffee as well. So listen, it is coffee. Listen to this. Coffee dishes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Big Mike, New Look Austin. I'm drinking Tang. <laughs> what? <laughs> like Pootie Tang? <laughs> Sada Tay. <laughs> I'm a Lapidu. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> uh yes, everyone in chat, please remember this. Sometimes have students jumping in. Yes, so be easy, skeezy. Yes, if I could really have the chat that I want to have, I forgot that, you know, as a teacher I have to uh corral myself. So please govern yourselves accordingly because I don't want them to pop in and be tripping. Mr. Clark, you was tripping on the lie. <laughs> Uh, I live off coffee. If it didn't taste so damn good, I would take it uh, intravenia, intra, uh, inside Virginia's intra. All right, it, it went away. So it, okay, we, I got it. Tang. <laughs> I haven't seen that since the ghetto in ninety in the nineties. Damn Tang, you guys. <laughs> Where are you getting this Tang from, bro? <laughs> Oh my God, Wu Tang says. <laughs> no, nah, big Mike, Mike, local Austin. You, it's it, it's Tang. It definitely is. Uh, it's not orange juice. It's definitely orange drink. <laughs> it's, it's definitely drink. <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows what orange drink is. I don't think we still do. But you definitely that's definitely what Tang is. It's it's definitely the color of orange. It's not like juice. It's it's, it's uh it's way looser than juice. <laughs> oh, it's way looser than juice. Purple drinks. <laughs> Tang is so good. Uh if it ain't Starbies, I don't want it, says Justin. Uh powdered orange says J Rock. <laughs> looser. <laughs> like you know, you know uh, you know how orange is thick. It's you know it's good and thick. You can you can taste that orange juice like yeah yeah this is made from real. Tang goes down really fast. It's 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 a lot looser. <laughs> but when you get to drinking Tang like you you yeah you just drinking that Tang on down like it's got some sweeter sweetener in it and uh, you can tell not real oranges were made and and not not one orange was peeled. And uh, cut and juiced to this bottle. That not one orange, no oranges were hurt making this bottle of Tang at all. Like this, this Tang was an entity that was made by something else. Uh, and just in case, has found the the yellow forty high fructose corn syrup and filtered water. There you go. There and there you have Tang. Sunny D light. Oh God. Yeah, that's the kind that sticks with you. It's um. It's got the consistency of Metamucil <laughs> if you, if, and the aftertaste. <laughs> oh, it's bad. It stays on the back of your tongue, <laughs> unfortunately. Not as thick as orange juice, looser than orange juice, and stays on the back of your tongue. How does it grip your taste buds like that is, uh, is crazy. 
It's 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 nuts. Uh, I'm from Houston. NASA made it. I know what it is. <laughs> uh, grocery stores, Walmart, Tang makes you piss the same color, dark orange. Tang is like drinking orange chalk water. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody, tell us your experiences with Tang. Uh, Tang is that powder concentrate. Uh, Oval team. Maybe you went the wrong way with that one. Ovaltine is uh, Ovaltine is classy yoo-hoo, right? <laughs> it's, it's hot you. It's hot you <laughs> uh, Let's see. I can't stand orange juice, but I like Sunny D. I love orange juice, and Sunny D is a second kind of. Uh, I used to drink the hell out of some time. <laughs> we all did. It's almost. Uh, and here goes just in case. I was just thinking about this stuff. This stuff is the pits. Here's the problem with Tampico. Uh, Tampico. It just does not give you the satisfaction of a real fruit juice. It's thick. It's like a. Oh my God. Tampico is. If you hella thirsty and you drink Tampico and you could just bash it, <laughs> just drink it, right? You still kind of thirsty. It does not satisfy. It hits the tongue and it's sweet. So you keep drinking, but it's got an aftertaste. It doesn't matter if it's the orange one or the red one. It never tastes like the fruit is supposed to taste like. One. And two... Right on, let's smash it. Appreciate it. And two, it's not, it's not, it's not good. It's an acquired taste, but when you like it, you like it. It it tastes, it tastes the same way. Thanks, Ali Rashad. Again, unless you're a bot, because that's like the third time you said that. Unless you unsubscribed and then subscribed again, and then unsubscribed and then subscribed again. Um, uh, Tampico thick as hell, right, car? That's what I'm saying. It makes me thirsty. Yes, it. I, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hadn't scrolled down when I was making my rant, but yes, at least you guys agree. Uh, don't forget to fin slap the like button. Tampico has a pH of 13. <laughs> There's no way Tampico is real juice. I feel yes, exactly. I love juicy juice because it's real fruit juice. Yeah, and then now you're drinking like a third grader there, Legacy, because with juicy juice, it is real fruit juice, but they water it down. If you've ever taken your kid's juicy juice box, you almost want to give it back. It's kind of it's it's watered down, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what it is. Uh, I love juicy as real fruit juice. Uh, Kool Aid tastes like its color. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kool Aid is is gonna be your number one there. Tan Pico literally says it contains excessive amount of sugar. Yeah, what are they hiding? They're just throwing sugar in there. Like I said, it hits your tongue and it tastes good from there. But after you're done, you're like hella thirsty. Like, And then if you stick your tongue out, man, it's it's so thick. It's in the grooves of your of your uh, your taste buds. That is nuts. Nuts. Uh, okay, glass box got you. Right on. Uh, I still have to tickle the like button right on. Yeah, man, that Tampico is crazy. Here is my favorite hood old school drink. And you know it's hood and old school because it was it was put in a wrap by the late, great, notorious B.I.G. Um, in 91. And it was uh, where he says lines, tricks like very fine and I'm still thirsty. Very fine is delicious. You can only still get it from Sam's or Costco. Last time that I was able to get it, and it comes in a gallon, uh, like a gallon and a half or two. It's a big plastic thing of it. 
I can you chill that joint off that very fine fruit punch that's that's some good drinking that's delicious that's the good stuff right there that's that's where that's where you want to be very fine fruit punch is delicious I like simply mango lemonade it's just the bomb and the only I hate the only thing I hate about simply is that it comes in such small jugs even the big jug that it comes in yeah. it's so good that you just go crazy with it plus it makes great mixers all all of the all of the simplys are delicious um simply has also started making um simply wicked which is uh it's almost like mike's hard lemonade but it's it's simply's version of it so that's even delicious everybody anybody ever tried boing I have no idea what Boeing is. I'm not sure anymore. I could be a lot. I'm definitely broken enough following instructions. Bebop. <laughs> Excuse me. Flavor Aid is okay, but not better than Kool Aid. Flavor Aid. Yeah, it does not contest to Kool Aid. Uh, you know what else is good? <laughs> Bro, your 40s are showing. <laughs> right. Simply Raspberry Sour Den. Oh, simply raspberry sour. <laughs> Remember the barrels with the foil lid? The, yes, that, I was just about to say that, Toski. Here's the only problem with the barrels. It takes so many to get full when you're an adult. But they are delicious. Now, check this out. The kids love Capri Suns, and I think Capri Suns are the best things for that they're drinking right now. For us, I feel like barrels were our number one go-to back in the day. The barrel jugs. Uh, Boing is the frozen juice in a triangle box. I ain't had that. Didn't want to watch your mouth. Dang, there are 50 over here. Um, everyone in the chat, but don't play with me on trying to slip. In the cuss words, there will be high school students coming to the chat if you make me pick between you or them. Ah, uh, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. Keep it, keep it classy, you guys, just in case the students come through. But um, what I was about to say. So, what I do with the Capri Suns is I get like four of them, and I cut the top off, and I get um a cup of ice. And I just pour. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Same thing with the barrels. You got to get about four of them. Pour them in a nice big cup of ice. And then go to town. Straight like that. The barrel make my throat hurt now. That's not real juice either. It, it's not. You know what used to be really good? Anybody? Oh, let's always see. Is 7-Elevens, are those all over the country? Or is that just like certain states got 7-Elevens? Yeah. Wait, Florida has 7-Eleven. And I drove to a 7-Eleven when I was at... No, that was Chicago. Uh, we still get my kids barrels. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Turner's orange drink is good back in the day. Turner's Tuner's orange drink? And now it's watered down as well as Hawaiian Punch. Yeah, Hawaiian Punch just isn't as good as it used to be. As a kid, you could drink Hawaiian Punch, go crazy. Can you get my friend's own bro draws a shout out? <laughs> uh, a shout out, Zone Bro. <laughs> uh, them, them bro, man. Uh, hello, all good. Cleaning fish stuff and listening. DJ Guppy Fish up in this thing. Papaya juice and cherry papaya. 7 Eleven is a worldwide. Okay, cool. They all over the world. Japan has 7 Elevens. All right, cool. So, what about the high C juice box? The high C juice box, the only high C juice box I really liked is when Ghostbusters first came out and they came out with the Ecto Cooler. That was the bomb. I like lime. I like the color of lime. Like Mr. Pure, I can drink a, a lime Mr. Pure and a fruit punch Mr. Pure. That is a classic taste that doesn't go anywhere. That Mr. Pure is delicious. Um, I love Boom Boom when I was in Iraq. It's the Iraq version of Red Bull. Okay. All right. What up, Mike B? Ecto Cooler. Yes, the Ecto Cooler was the bomb. Um, 
what I was saying about Seven Eleven. Seven Eleven used to have those, and they used to be they used to be ninety nine cent for the whole gallon. They used to have the, they had the ultimate gallon drink. You could go right to the gallon, and they would have a gallon of milk, and they would have gallon drink, and you can get grape drink, orange drink, or red drink. That was the ultimate drink, and it was like sugar water, but. Man, after I play basketball, shoot, you don't have no money. You just go in there and get a dollar for a gallon of this drink. Man, <laughs> drinking that straight out the jug. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen, I've been, in, but here's the thing with 7 Eleven you got to get, you got to find a gallon jug that doesn't have like the drink that's coming off the side that is like frozen on it like it's always it's always something wrong like it's so it's dirty like you know what i'm saying like why is it so dirty why why do you not have a clean jug of drink <laughs> it's got to be stuck together or something it's got or it's the last one uh, you're like hey man they, 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 i want that drink but uh uh, a cold Mr. Pure to chase a cold gallon of Henny. Yeah, that Mr. Pure is 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 it. Uh, it has a blue horse on it instead of Red Bull. Uh, do any of you all have the McDonald's orange drink at your field day in big orange cooler? McDonald's orange drink? From McDonald's? I know the whole deal with McDonald's was their uh, orange... Uh... Was it Fanta? Something about that they brought back and everybody was happy McDonald's brought back their orange because it was like the best tasting orange. Is it orange Fanta? Is orange so orange is orange Fanta? Is it taste better than is does it taste better than Sunkissed or what is it? It's the orange Fanta, correct? Oh, high C orange. That's it. McDonald's had high C orange. High C orange. That was the deal. High C orange. Uh, Salient was cracking. High C was good, but now it's watered down. I got a question. Do you plan on having a live stream all about different nasty juices? Uh, it didn't start out that way. <laughs> uh, must have been back in the late sixties. <laughs> Who says the late the late sixties? Oh no, I'm an eighties baby. I have no idea. Uh, I see it was great, but now it's all about them V8 Splash streams. V8 Splash is fire. V8 Splash is is definitely good. Uh, they got uh, Kona Ice Snow Cones now at Field Day. Yeah, now Kona Ice. Kona Ice. Here's the thing about Kona Ice. They'll pull the truck up. They didn't got lazy, though. They'll, they, they let you pour as much syrup as you want on that snow cone. And I'm afraid that some kids just... They, they can't help themselves. They go crazy with the syrup. And it starts... That syrup... You gotta have the right amount of ice... A snow cone ice to syrup to make it like fire. You feel me? Uh, Icy always left me with a slightly bitter aftertaste. Yeah. Want, wanna, wanna. Don't you wanna. Fanta. Fun. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. Uh, live is flowing like soft drinks. It's all good. <laughs> uh, not a juice, but clearly Canadian. Oh, I just had two of those jokers yesterday. They brought clearly can they brought the kill uh, the clearly Canadians back. I, that's my favorite go to drink. Before I saw them again, it was clearly fruit or clear fruit water. One of those. Those are real good. Nothing wrong with some good old hose water. There's 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 nothing wrong with that, just in case. Uh only Biz gets hype about juice boxes. <laughs> it seems like everybody's had their fair share of juice boxes around this joint. Walmart is serving clearly Canadian drinks. They're having uh let's see. All right, my bad. Um let's see. Uh, Walmart is selling clearly Canadian drinks here. Haven't seen them for a while. Yeah. Uh, talk about whatever you want, Biz. Fuck is, is about to ban us all anyway. <laughs> uh, I like to mix Kool-Aid flavors. 
take the red and purple and change it'll change your life gary berry is what i call it gotcha glass box uh anybody want to go ahead and play with glass boxes flavors red and purple uh which doesn't sound that bad but what the, the new thing is is what they've been doing is they've been taking simply lemonade lemonade um kind of drinking it down and putting a red or a blue or i think it's either red or blue um kool-aid packet let it chill and they're saying that's the bomb i haven't tried that yet think about getting down on that um warm garden hose in july drink as a kid yeah hey man good old hose water is not bad you let that joke run so it gets nice and co nice and cold i think it's funny how you can like back in school there always was the water fountain that was like super cold and then you had the warm water fountain and then you had the water fountain that no one really wanted to mess with or you had a water fountain that used to come up out this much and you had to put your whole lip on it to get there and then it was like you know before you, you knew it was nasty and you was just thirsty you always you stand in line for some cold water straight up <laughs> 300 <laughs> you tempted to give uh new local Austin 300 seconds for fun that's not fair <laughs> uh don't use your power for evil there uh <laughs> uh oh what about some surge made you who's saying this d1 made you feel bro i would I would uh, drink a bottle of Surge and run on high all day. Dude, ban now. And no, it's not. You can get Surge. Like, are you saying recently? Because I was getting Surge from Burger King. Burger King has the 101 flavors in the one little station. And Surge, you can get Grape Surge. Like, Surge is one of the, it's on tap. It's on tap. I'm gonna check tomorrow, man, to see if 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 they still got it. Straight up. So I love Surge is good. Straight up. You can also do like a grape ginger ale. I love ginger ale is another go-to drink. I love ginger ale, like a cold ginger ale. Yeah. Um, before Mountain Dew made all of these different flavors, I would mix Kool-Aid with regular Dew and add some uh, other Russian drink. Okay. Uh, anyone try OK Pop in the '90s? Or about the bubblegum pop. I didn't try none of that. I definitely had a love for uh, Crystal Pepsi. Clear Pepsi? As soon as Pepsi went clear, I was like, yo, they revolutionized Pepsi. I'm drinking that thing. That was crazy. That was crazy. Oh, they don't have it in Utah, says D1. Yeah, man. Surge versus Jolt. I never had Jolt. It was always Surge for me. Uh, I like that grapefruit drink squirt over any so squirt was fire. I was I remember having um, I had a uh, 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 outlandish thing on squirt. I just had to have squirt. It was it was yeah, and I didn't know it was grapefruit at first because it tastes pretty good. Uh, vault soda vault sounds familiar. Serge was the first drink I ever shotgun. <laughs> vault. Vault is actually an energy drink. Crystal Pepsi was amazing, says Tusky. Right. Okay, Cola was the best. Also, Sprite Remix. Oh, the Sprite Remix is fire. They sell Squirt Redberry now. Yes. Listen, nothing beats. Everyone do flavor. I know they got this new one, Raja Wave Blast, Lava Blast, or whatever the case is. Baja Blast, bro. I would purposely just go to Taco Bell just to get Baja Blast, but now they're selling it in bottles. Best thing ever. Baja Blast is so freaking good. And I never was a Mountain Dew fan. Um, local song called Dr. Enough. Sonny G, where are you from where you got Dr. Enough? Tequila, Squirt, Ice, and Tahine. Sounds like a party, just in case. That sounds like a party I would invite myself to right there. JFI grandparents got me hooked on Squirt 45 years ago. <laughs> me and my nephew came with a slushie in 2019 called Mind Blowing Slushies using Kool Aid soda, ice, a bag of Jolly Rogers, Jolly Ranchers, 
and it was good even my late mom loved it that sounds like a party too anytime you throw jolly ranchers in something it's going to be good jolly ranchers if you do jolly ranchers when they had made their flavor ice like the uh the jolly rancher popsicles the frozen popsicles you take those jokers and you melt them in a cup of ice and just drink them like a drink fire did it they had jolly the rancher bottle sodas when they were selling those jones juices back in the day jones juices were fire i don't know if it, you guys in had i don't know if that was local or not but they had like berry white um, they had, they named them after like um, black musicians or, or I don't know if it was just musicians or actors or something like that, but it was fire. But they also had made some Jolly Rancher um, bottle sodas that taste just like the candy. They so good. I wonder if Five Below still has those. Is Five Below's everywhere too? Are they nationwide? They're usually next door to a. Uh, well, ours are always next door to a Petco for some reason, but it's no, it's usually five below and a Target or five below and a like a Pottery Barn or a Michaels or something. Maybe that's not what they're always next to because I just named like five different things they next to. So don't get me to lying. I will. I'll do it well. Okay, Pop had a hotline you can call and it would say funny stuff. We're talking pay. We're talking payphone days. That's crazy. Uh, something about Baja Blast. That's the only Mountain Dew I like. I'm with you, Car. Uh, never tried Baja Blast. I guess I should. Might be. You don't know what you're missing. Head to a Taco Bell straight away. Straight away and get you a Baja Blast, bro. And tell them the biz sent you. Although they probably don't know me, but you can still say it. Uh, Tennessee says Sunny G Sierra Miss. Mike B, go get your Baja Blast. You'll put the mist down. Baja Blast is the best dew there is. Yes, it is. Mountain Dew has watermelon. Yes, and Baja Blast is still the best. You can make Baja Blast by mixing Mountain Dew, Blue Powerade, Sprite, and a dash of lemon juice. You're welcome. Says D1. <laughs> Heck no. Uh, if you eat Jolly Rancher... You will fuse your mouth shut. If you eat a Jolly Rancher, you will fuse. Oh, um, like if you just chew it immediately. I used to do that all the time. Uh, I never use lemon juice though. Uh, Red Bull tastes like chewing on Jolly Ranchers and aspirin. Uh, so I'll Red Bull has some new flavors. Regular it, it, regular Red Bull, I can't drink now that I they've got they've got pear cinnamon, which is which is pretty good. They've got juniperberry, which is pretty good, and they have uh, strawberry apricot, I believe. That's a weird weird choice of uh, flavor combos, but it's not bad. Uh, I I don't drink regular Red Bull anymore now with the flavors. Ross Marshall and Pet Smart. <laughs> uh, limited Jolly Rancher Pop Tarts. Uh, I was not a fan of the Pop Tarts. I had to have them because kind of that's what the school had in the morning, and mom didn't really get us breakfast before school. So I was kind of partial to the strawberry and the the one that had the uh, the brown sugar. Brown sugar was like my favorite Pop Tart. <laughs> Oh, they got frozen daiquiri shots. They usually have those down south. Um, in Louisiana and Shreveport, we have frozen daiquiri shops. Fire, fire. They got to put the they got to put the tape over the lid so they could say that they didn't give you an open container. But they give you like a straw and they just put a little piece of Damascus tape over the front of it. You just pop that sucker off and get it popping. That way you you could say that you open it. Uh, five below is down there where Legacy is. Uh, chemicals, sugar, and corn syrup. Squeeze it. I remember squeeze it. Um, put 25 green apple Jolly Roger Ranchers in a bottle of vodka and two days to dissolve with Sprite and ice. That sounds good. This sounds like um, I left 25 green apple Jolly Rogers in a bottle of vodka um, 
for a week and see what happens. The guy that has the hat, and then he always be like, Bone Apple Teeth. And then he try to see if he get it. And it's time to take a shot. Diboja. And then he just takes the shot. I like that guy. Sierra is this. Sierra Mist doesn't exist. I haven't heard Sierra Mist in a while. They had to rebrand themselves because there was an OnlyFans model that was. <laughs> what? Sierra Mist had to rebrand themselves because there was an OnlyFans model that was more famous. Oh, that's funny. Orbits? Uh, the gum? Yeah, I remember or Orbits the gum. Uh, Star. Starry? Yeah, Starry is just is the new uh, Sprite. Uh, the five below down here by the Pet Smart have you noticed the Taco Bells be by an AutoZone? No, our Taco Bells our Taco Bells aren't by no auto zones. Uh they have grape pop tarts? That sounds disgusting. Uh have you guys ever had the um the peanut butter and jelly uncrustables? <laughs> They're surprisingly pretty good. <laughs> Uh, every time you Google Sierra Mist, the only fan model will pop up as the top result versus the soda. That's funny. Orbis was like uh, the fruity like drink with the gel dots in them. Oh, I do remember that. I never did get that. Too much like boba tea. I, I don't like it. I, I like boba tea. Um, I just, I'm very particular on how many bulbas that you put in the bottom of them so like i'd be like yo just give me like like seven boba in it and then they'd be like yeah you gotta count them out bro don't give me a scoop of that I, I can't that's too much it's too much sometimes it and especially if they used to put them in slushies and either i'll go no boba or maybe like five bulbas or something like that but when they when they're in the bottom of a frozen drink they get like hard so you just I got that fat straw and you just suck and then and a whole frozen boba ball just but just hit you like damn yo I'm done with these B <laughs> I'm cool Lunchables has lead Well we all we all we all got a little something from something Bathazar Uncrustables are pretty good. Yes, might be. Uh, bro got a freezer full of Uncrustables right now. <laughs> I remember Bonkers candy in the 80s. Bonkers. I do remember Bonkers, too. I don't like chunk, chunky drinks. Yeah, Bonkers had the best commercials. Bonkers were awesome. Awesome Melvin says Sunny G. Yeah, I do remember Bonkers. Uh, the gum, right? That was the one that had the... Uh, um, like you could take the, the Bonkers gum, squeeze it, and then uh, you'll see the, the juice come out, right? As I've gotten older, I don't, I don't like, I don't, I don't like thing to, to, uh, to bust, to, to squeeze in my mouth. I don't, I don't, I, I want to eat it the way it is, man. I don't, I don't, I don't like, I don't, I don't like, I don't want gushers. I don't want, I don't want, uh, uh, what's the, fr the clear fruit, the fruit that that you gotta bite in the juice shooting in your mouth. I don't want nothing shooting in my nah, I, I'm I'm cool on that man. I'm I'm not I'm not eating those types of candies or anything no more. I don't I don't I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh yeah I, I'm I'm not I'm not no I don't want that. Yeah I don't like that. Uh fruit stripe gum was the worst gum ever. I'm standing on it. Uh Mike B gives it 30 seconds. I give it 15 tops. Like, especially if you like, man, you get like 12 chews on that sucker, and it's a it's a wrap. I think that's why they gave you so many in a pack. They knew it was trash. It was a it was a wrap. You can go through a whole thing of fruit chews gum um, before you got to the first stoplight when you turn the corner out of your uh, complex at your house. It was a wrap. It was a wrap. Yo, Dan, the man is here. Dan, the fish that you that you that you sent me earlier this year are flying like hotcakes, dude. They are going into homes of these students. They are picking these fish up, them for the summer, 
and I damn near have I have an empty 50 40. I have one fish in the 55, which is my starry night that I have from home, and then I've got a few, I've got a few fish left. Um, but these these kids are taking these fish home and they're taking care of them. So there it is, there it is. I appreciate it, man. We're gonna have to be making another order pretty soon, bro. Straight up. Uh, this fish channel has turned into an 80s, started out as an 80s uh, favorite fruit drink box. Then we've moved into gums that bust into your, with juice that burst into your mouth. And uh, before that, it was, it's been everything but fish is, is what we've been doing, is, is what's going on. So, partake. LC, LC just popped in, finished his video. Yo, you guys got to go check out LC. He's been taking my advice and putting his videos up on his um on his on his uh channel. Go check LC stuff out. He even takes you through a day to day with him and what he does during the day with his aquariums. He's got some cool stuff. Uh, trying to become a marine biologist, they got him in the right spot. LC Aquatics, definitely go check the kid out. And he's a youngster, so. You know, you got to love that. Give him some love. And he said he just finished his video. You should go watch it. Yes, I just sent everybody to it, LC. Uh, Big League, I was on my way, Melvin. You beat me if LC didn't mess me up. I was on my way with Big League Chew. Uh, Swedish fish are great. And fish, their fish and their candy, says Mike B. And the problem with it is I hate Swedish fish. I do not like them. I don't know what it is about the licorice for Swedish fish. I can't get with it. I don't like it. Twizzlers were number one for me for the longest. You couldn't beat Twizzlers. And then if it and that would be licorice. But let's talk gummy bears. Like what would did you guys have like a favorite like Haribo is supposedly number one they've got black forest which is coming in um uh black forest gummy bears but if it was licorice twizzlers i can't get with the swedish fish they go up there they go up there on my on my uh 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 candies that i don't like I like the uh, I like the guy with the deep voice, man. The voiceover guy that is like, candies from our childhood that they took away and never should give back. Peeps, of oh, these 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 are an abomination. He he going crazy on some of the stuff. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> he said one candy. He said, why does this candy taste like camel hoofs? Uh, it's <laughs> like what? Oh man, you need to be locked up if you're eating Swedish fish. Thank you, Car. <laughs> How to eat Swedish fish? <laughs> Swedish fish are garbage, trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, be they killing your Swedish fish? Hey, I can't stand them, man. <laughs> Recently picked up my first Jaguar signal and might as both doing well in my 300 gallon Stephen White. Nice man, thumbs up for Stephen White with his first Jaguar and might a sick lip. Man, that's gangster. I just heard a grown man said, Let's talk gummy bears. <laughs> uh, damn, I'm the only one who likes peeps and candy corn together. Oh, god, candy corn, Mike, how old are you, bro? Ugh, this is all stuff you find in a grandma's purse, like in the bottom. That is disgusting. <laughs> Peeps are disgusting, bro. <laughs> they got a, oh my God, they got a Peeps Pepsi. I heard it is trash. <laughs> Why would you do that? A Rebro Gummy Bears is made of real fruit juice. Uh, that's why they're so good. My friend gave me a flavored Peeps every year. This year is watermelon. And so I have a big pile of Peeps because I'm terrible at throwing stuff. Man, you better throw that stuff away before it comes to life. Uh, uh, I don't mind if I drop the link to the video. Uh, yeah, I don't care, Elsie. 
I ate peeps as a kid and puked and never ate them again. They are so disgusting. Oh my god. Uh y'all are mean as shit. <laughs> Candy corn is disgusting. Next we'll be talking about circus peanuts, which are equally as disgusting. Oh my god. Circus peanuts suck. God. Candy corn, circus peanuts, and peeps, man. I have no idea. Uh, if you if you eat any of those, man, you do not love yourself. Like it's oh my god. Oh, they're so bad. Damn, I love circus peanuts. Mike B. <laughs> Mike B loves all. <laughs> Everybody said Mike B. All your old. <laughs> He's eating it. He's like Mikey. Mikey will eat anything. <laughs> Peeps and candy corn aren't as bad as everyone says. They're just meh, says Toski. No, nah, no, nah, they're terrible, Toski. Disgusting. I can't. Ugh. I, ugh. I just, I hate Easter because they. that's when they make their appearance again. Like, dude, you should just get rid of these. Uh, LC, I will, I will make a cognitive, um, uh, 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 conc uh, I will make a, I will look at your video and make a, and give you a reaction. Uh, Mike apparently loves garbage candy. <laughs> oh, his favorite candy is black licorice. Ugh. Don't be eating those gummy bears. Uh, and like Haribo or Skittles, uh, it has Carnuba wax in it, which is used to wax colors. God, dog, man, is this all in the? Is this all in the in the in the recipe? Like, like how do you? Man, everything got something in it, man. It's all bad. Uh, they got these gummy worms called. Oh yeah, those gummy worms are pretty good. Um. Melvin, straight up. Mike B has no taste buds. Confirmed. <laughs> what a Rebo smacks. Dude, my favorite, my favorite gummy worm from Rebo is Twin Snakes. They've got four flavors and they are they're different. They're sweet and sour. They're delicious. And you could pull them apart and have them, you know, have them separately. Um, Albany's gummies are good, but they have too many flavors. I like Albany's uh, gummy worms. How many flavors is too many? Like, no, like you gotta, you gotta, like pineapple, pineapple gummy bears are delicious. Like the white bears, delicious. Um, how about a smoothie made out of circus peanuts, candy corn, and peeps? Stephen White, you you came in with 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 awesome news, and then you do this. And then you say stuff like this. This is, this is disgusting. That makes that makes, mm -mm. yeah, it makes the hair on my back itch. This is ridiculous. Um, look up those ingredients on the back of the package. I won't because I still want to eat it. Uh, they use water to wash cars. Should we not drink that? <laughs> Dude, it's always something, bro. It's always something. It's ridiculous. Uh, I had Haribo Gold Baron when I was in Germany. Nothing is better. I don't know. what is that? Are those gummy bears, I guess? Uh, I haven't tried those candies since I was a kid. I hate black licorice, especially in Juju. Oh, Juju fruit. Oh, God. You talking about, you talking about a dentist's nightmare. Juju fruit will stick... Not only in your molar, but in the gums at the top of your molar. You have to get your tongue in there and, and flick that joker out of there. <laughs> you gotta have a strong tongue to eat the juju fruit and get it out of the out of the back of your teeth, straight up. <laughs> I like take a handful of gummy bears and just eat them all at once. Albany has too many flavors, they don't interact well together. Ah, you gotta take them separately. You got to itemize them out. You got to put the white ones with the white ones, the lime green ones and with the green ones, the hunter green ones with the, the red ones with the red ones, the pink ones with the pink ones, and then eat them as a handful. 
And then you can mix and match. Uh, did you like sugar daddies or sugar berries or sugar baby? I know I didn't like neither one of them. A sugar daddy. I'm def I'm not eating that. No big caramel log on a stick. I'm good on that. I mean, I'm not like sugar. I have had sugar babies. They because they're small. Like you, you pop a handful of those in, but still not good. I, I just didn't like them. They they I like them better than Tootsie Rolls though. Tootsie Rolls are disgusting to me. God, I hate Tootsie Rolls. Oh, my God. Hagen Hill Design, Swedish Fish, yo. Uh, please, Hagen Hill, don't come into this chat saying that you like Swedish Fish. We have already ostracized it out of this chat. We know that there's one person that is in this chat that loves it, but we love Mike B, and that's why he's tolerated to stay in here. But then he... He doubled down and said that he loves circus peanuts as well as candy corn. And that's a problem, man. It's like three strikes you're out with that one, yo. Know? <laughs> uh, dots. Yeah, dots suck too. <laughs> uh, what about three musketeers? Oh, uh, God. That's, you, you're a whore. Mike B, your taste buds are non-existent. They, they're, it's bad. It's really bad. You just really just... You just go eat an onion, just raw. Just bite right into it. That's it. It's, it's going to be no problem. Did you? Are these your COVID snacks or something? Like, what's going on, man? <laughs> that's, that's disgusting. Uh, Three Musketeers are not good. Not good. You got to have some sort of toffee, nougat, or peanuts in there for a chocolate bar to be delicious for me. Mr. Good Bar, fire. Snickers, always a classic. Um, Heath Bar, delicious. I love Heath Bar, although it is that'll get stuck in the roof of your mouth t- in, in, the, in in your molar as well. Still fire though. I love Heath Bar. Um, can we get to the good candies like Reese's and M and M's? Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I see you. I see you, uh, Dan the man. Bit of honey was good. Hella, hella. It would get stuck in the roof of your mouth. But you can't eat like the whole thing at once. It got super sweet halfway through, like extremely sweet. <laughs> like, oh yeah, that's 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 all bad. Hagen Hill design, nothing but love, man. You came for the fish chat, and you got '80s '80s candies. We're in here. We're in here. So join 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 the crew. Uh, white chocolate Snickers, yes, good. Um, I do like the cookies and cream Hershey's, but not all the time like you can't that's another one where it starts the taste starts getting muddy you can't it doesn't taste good all the time too bad love the fish Hagen Hill join um, Mike B you guys can eat Swedish fish together forever the, you can and, and if we get Swedish fish they, they're your Swedish fish we're just sending them right to you we, we you know you and Mike B will Hey, you and the Swedish Fish, you guys can become one. Uh, ever have Juju Bees? Yeah, we just talked about this, Stephen White. We get stuck in the roof of your mouth, your roof of your teeth, stuck on the top of your gums. You gotta have a strong tongue to flick that sh- that Juju Bee out, just like dots. Uh, I like Swedish Fish to the fact that I'm gonna get three right now. Uh, you probably are talking about real fish, Funk. You're not talking about the actual gummy fish, correct? Score bar. Hagen Hill, talk to me real quick. I've seen score. I always go for Heath. Is score like Heath or is it different? What is in score? Now, I've had Toblerone, which I think is delicious. Heath bar, I, I I love Heath bar, I, I, and I know that it gets stuck in your teeth, and I love it. But what does Score bar taste like? Anybody else had Score like Hagen? Um, Glass Box Hero likes Three Musketeers like Mike B, but I eat all the outer chocolate first. Well, yeah, well that's the only way to eat a Three Musketeer. Like in Three Musketeer in a variety pack, that is always the one that's, that's never going to get eaten. I don't even care if it is the small trial size, but... And then even still, if you're hankering for some chocolate, you're not eating that whole thing. Like, you got to just eat around it. Like, yeah. Uh, Milky Way is the best, followed by Almond Joy. 
Milky Way is disgusting as well. I do not like Milky Way. Milky Way and Three Musketeers is the same thing. If you break it open, there's nothing. There's nothing in. <laughs> Sorry, I had to cut out there for a second. I just received an image, and it is Aquafunk currently eating Swedish Fish Minis. He's in there with the Swedish Fish. Aquafunk, Mike B, Hagen Hill Design, Swedish Fish are all for you. I, that's why Aquafunk got so quiet because he's a Swedish Fish guy. <laughs> what a loser. Not you guys, just Aquafunk. I know him well. Loser. Um, and he took a picture with the <laughs> he took a picture with the, with the Swedish Fish tough. Like you. Yeah, that's right. Swedish Fish. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, you ain't a fish keeper unless you eat the Swedes. I beg to differ. Almond Joy, I will take over mounds, though. It's something about just that almond. I, I, you got to have something to break up all of that. Whatever the mush is when you break open a, 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 a musketeer in a Milky Way. It's, it's, I don't like it. Dark chocolate Milky Ways are better. I hate dark chocolate. Heath Bar. They still make that, says Mike B. <laughs> they are, yeah, Mike B, they do. And you can get it in milkshakes still at Dairy And you can still get it in Cold Stone Mountain in your ice cream. Yes, Heath Bar. Yes. Uh, Mike B is there with Hagen. Well, you know, <laughs> we always have to find a friend that, you know, that likes the stuff that we like. I'm glad that Hagen has made it here for you. Heath ripped off score, so I need to go and try score. And you're telling me it's the same as a Heath bar? All right, I'm with it. If 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 score tastes like Heath bar and Heath ripped off score, then I like score. Uh, Legacy loves Milky Way score and Milk Duds. I'm not a fan of Milk Duds. Uh, anybody a fan of Whoppers? Did you guys like Whoppers? I feel like I hated them, but I ate them a lot. Like. After you have come like, mm, that's malted malt. Nah, mm, let me try another one. Let me try another one. Let me try another one. <laughs> like, I hate that I liked it. <laughs> Toffee chocolate. Uh, I feel like honey cantaloupe might sick is playing in the background at Mike B's place. I miss double mint twin commercials. I remember those. Double your pleasure. Double your fun with double mint. Um, gum. Uh, people eat Swedish fish. I like people that smoke Swisher sweets. Y'all can do that somewhere else. Andy's mints, a good Andy's mint. I'll take it, uh, especially like after dinner. That's yeah, I don't mind it. Uh, Andy's mint. Andy's mint to me is is tastes like a more richer thin mint from the Girl Scout cookies. I like a I like a Girl Scout cookie thin mint. It's weird because it's hella crispy from the cookie portion, but it that mint and that chocolate, that's it's pretty good. Uh three musketeers and a root beer. Ooh, I love root beer. What's your favorite root beer though, y'all? If you're a root beer drinker, I do love root beer. Um I just found out that my students like root beer and that was weird for me. I, I just thought it was a old a old man's drink. I remember uh, root beer when Snoopy was drinking it on uh, in Peanuts. <laughs> he would always down a uh, down a root beer. Uh, now I want Skyer Icelandic yogurt. This is weird. <laughs> Funk just finished eating his Swedish fish. Yummy. Milky Way is a lesbian snicker. <laughs> Hey, I like Car. Hey, you guys, make sure you check out Car, man. The dude is clever. He's funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> yes, round of applause. <laughs> Hagen's in this thing, y'all. He's new. He's new to the chat, but he's in this thing. <laughs> he fits right in. I'm not mad at Almond Joy. I'm not mad at Almond Joy. I can rock with Almond Joy. I can't do the mounds. I can rock with the Almond Joy, though. Can somebody tell me what a uh, nougat is? That is nougat. Yeah. Uh, which one of those has nougat in it? So I know toffee. And there is nougat. Yes. Uh, goobers. Wait a minute. 
Am I? No, I'm thinking about gobstoppers. Gobstoppers were the... Gobstoppers and goobers were a different thing. Goobers. What is goober? Goober, goober, mm -hmm. goober. Mm. Whoppers. Wait a minute, what time is it? Oh, man, I'm about to be on the news in 30 minutes. I got to go check that out. I'm going to be on Channel 4 News uh, from this text message I just received from my Costa Rica kids. They came in. They actually came into a different school and actually uh, um, interviewed there. Mm -hmm. But they also took pictures um, that they're going to uh, highlight from, um, from yesterday when we had our parents meeting. So I'm going to go see if I'm on the news. Um, how about goobers? Whoppers. I said, I said whoppers. I like old whoppers. Yeah, okay. Uh, Jake said is Kate loves, Katie loves whoppers. Nerds, always, always good. I love nerds. They brought back whatchamacallits. I like whatchamacallit. Peppermint patties, the York peppermint patties. The Remember those commercials make you feel like you, uh, uh, flying down uh, Andy's Alps with nothing on but a, a but a scarf. <laughs> we A and W root beer, great value root beer, just in case. Great value root beer from Walmart. That's what we talking about. A and W man, A and W. I like a good mug mug root beer. There, uh, Mike B doesn't care for mug. <sighs> I would have to have all of the root beers lined up and not tell me which which is which. I can't tell the difference like that. So root beer is root beer to me on that end. I, I, I would really have to to taste them back to back to see if I could really tell the difference. Peppermint patties are so good. I actually hybridized peppermint. And chocolate mint together, so I have peppermint patty mint. Okay, barks. Elfish uh, tanks jumped in this thing with barks, barks, root beer. Yes. Bro, for me, bottle root beer tastes like wash and coke. I made AW Barrel root beer. Oh, D1 made a AW and Barrel. Whopper Mall Balls. Like I said, I don't know why I like them, but I just do. Like when I first taste one, I'm like and then I try another one like I don't get it it's like uh, it's like helicopters I don't understand them I don't understand Whopper malt balls like it's it's weird um, I drink AW and mugs root beer but mugs has a lot of foam okay alright so I can see that best chocolate hands down for Rochera <laughs> now you done got rich on this D1 you done spent money now and now you got money we were talking about all these old school classic where we we don't have the money, you know. Maybe you stole, maybe you lifted them from Seven Eleven back when you were just a little snot nose, you know. what I'm saying now we got money. Referral, referral, referral. I can't even say it. It's so rich. Oh, runs were great except for the banana. I hate banana can yuck. I would toss all the banana runs away. All the rest of them were cool. Orange was the second ones to go. And then lemon would be the third one to go. Chocolate covered peanut was the goobers. Okay, that's it. Yeah, so chocolate covered peanuts are delicious. Um, runts, the banana flavor is my favorite. God dog, Mike B. What the hell? What kind of old man shit? What what are we what are we doing? And did anybody else like the banana flavor runts, man? Let me guess. Hagen. And Aquafunk. You like the banana flavor runs, didn't you? Just like Mike B. You guys' flavor palettes are disgusting. Nougat is a family of confections made with sugar and honey, roasted nuts, whipped, whipped egg whites, and sometimes chopped candied fruit. Where do you taste all that at? I'm old enough to remember having candy cigarettes. And <laughs> they gave them to all of us as kids. I remember those. Late to the chat, but Eminem Almond. Delicious. Elfish. Hey, ding, ding, ding. You're winning. You're winning. Just got in here and already winning. Guess who's losing? Mike B, Hagen, Hill Design, and Aquafunk for loving Swedish Fish, Peeps, and Circus Peanuts. And Candy Corn. Ugh. 
Uh, Sweet Tarts and Spree, yes, but they get old real fast. Hagen Hill just Hagen Hill just bumped himself up. Boston baked beans is a staple. Delicious. Delicious. I put it up there with Chico sticks. Delicious. Sour Patch Kids, we're, we're, we're getting later. We're getting later. Yeah, we're getting later. Dad's Root Beer. I remember bubblegum cigarette that would blow powder out. Whole bag of buttered popcorn jelly bellies. I remember jelly bellies. Not your father's root beer. Jelly belly, jelly beans are addictive. Yes. All right, Mike B, I'm with you. you you're coming around. You're coming around, Mike B and Hagen. You're coming around. Uh, Dad's root beer, slow pokes. I remember slow pokes. What don't you understand about helicopters? I just don't like them. I just don't like the up down. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. Fun dips. Now we're get down over there. Now we're there. Hagen Hill. We're we're there. I'm with you. If I say Werther's Originals, God. God. Now we're back in that. Oh. Uh, now we're back in Grandmama's purse, man. What is like? Would you like a word as original, baby? <laughs> Grandma got some candy for you, baby. Let me get past these peppermints and these spearmints. Here, you want some caramel? Get you some word as originals, baby. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Thanks, Mike B. Thanks for the worthers. <laughs> And they are delicious. They really are. <laughs> they are good. Worthless originals are good. I'm not even in front. I don't need you to dissect the helicopter for me. It just the, the statement is clear. I don't understand them, and that's just we're just gonna leave it like that. Uh, fun dips, grape big league chew. <laughs> I'm with it. Banana is the best. Damn it, Hagen. I was starting to like you again. Where those ridges are great reminds me of great grandfather. <laughs> like the runts. Might be probably like the black jelly bean. <laughs> Turkish taffy. Then we have this. Where is this coming from, Stephen White? Where where did we get Turkish taffy from? Oh, Boston baked beans might be. Okay, I'm with you. Bark's root beer. A neighbor would bring birch beer from Pennsylvania. That root beer is special. Nope. Just the fish in the peeps. Aquaphone, you like peeps too, really? Oh, God. Just a big old marshmallow. Yes, you are. Yes, you did. Just a big old marshmallow. <laughs> yeah, marshmallow. Vines are better than Twizzlers. I knew someone was going to say it. I knew someone was going to say it. Uh, the best licorice out there right now is... What's the name of that? Oh, my God. It's at the gas station right before you go check out. Does it start with a W? Wally's. Wally's. If you haven't tried Wally's licorice... It's no longer thin like a vine or um, thin like a Twizzler. It's a it's a big fat piece of licorice pieces, um, and it is delicious. I've tried all the flavors: watermelon, original cherry, um, uh, green apple. Oh, God, that those are addictive. I'm not gonna. It's called Wally's. You can't miss them. They they they. You got to try those. If you like, if you like licorice, that's the only ones I buy now. Boston baked beans and Chico sticks taste like refried butt. You eat peeps, bro. Like, oh, I, I'm never. Uh, peeps are a disaster. They are disgusting, and then they. Oh god, it's like a sh a shiny soft turd that you just put in your mouth and chew up. That it's disgusting. Bring back cream savers. Hagen Hill, we are back, bro. We are back in effect. Cream savers were fire. The strawberry joints. Oh, my God. Yes. Pixie sticks. Eh. 
they weren't bad when you were young. Uh, yeah, I, I get it. I get a pixie stick. It's, it's like um, it's like when you put Kool Aid in and in a uh, in a in a bag and took it to school and 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 and, and ate it. That's a pixie stick. <clears throat> Maybe they're not caps like that. Like look at ours. Scotch. I'm not mad at butterscotch. I'm not. Uh, so we on nerd rock pops or fun dips? We definitely said all of those except for pops. We didn't do rock pops, which aren't bad at all. Don't snort pixie sticks. Word of advice. Oh God, why would you do that? We had dudes in the back of the bus that was snorting pixie sticks. <laughs> y'all, what? Y'all just are y'all are on some different type of time. Uh oh, bottle caps. I remember bottle caps. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. Old Henry, I remember old Henry. I like Mister Goodbar. Um, might be. <laughs> Let me guess. Might be like that cowtail candy too. Cowtail candy. Cowtail. Which one was that one? Car. I do. Aquafunk likes it. Nerds ropes, that's a lot. Nerds ropes is different, man, because you do get the crunchiness of the nerd, and then you get a licorice rope that I think is mid. Um, it's not bad, but you can't eat the whole rope in one in one sitting to me. Uh, and yes, Mike does agree that he does like black jelly beans. He's he's it's over for Mike. Mike is. Mike is is uh, is a complete dumpster fire. So <laughs> I don't know what's his deal. <laughs> uh, Tizzy pops or blow pops? Got to be blow pops. Tizzy pops are trash to me. Got to be blow pops. Even though the gum is still the gum flavor, still I think lasts longer than uh, um, than fruit stripe. It's still you don't eat it for the gum. Blow pop is just tastes a lot better than Tizzy pop to me. Oh, ring pops were the bomb, though. Yeah, ring pops. Candy necklace, I could do without. I don't like chalky candy. Like, spree was cool, but it's too, it's chalky. Bottle caps had, you know, were a little chalky. When you crunch into them, they, like, blast into a million pieces and just be like Tums. Yeah, yeah. Bottle caps are Tums, right? Uh, atomic Fireballs, I'm cool on that. Uh, not a big cinnamon head like that. Um, now I'm in the mood for pop rocks. Pop rocks are delicious. Uh, knuckles, chuckles, duckles, tuckles, chuckles, chuckles, cowtails, <laughs> fruit lions, fruit lions club candy. I don't remember that one. The cow tail candy was really good, fam, and it had good caramel. I don't remember the cow tail candy. Original one piece, king size Butterfinger. Mmm, Butterfinger. It was a lot of Butterfingers being eaten, especially when Bart kept telling people to uh, don't lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Everybody wanted to go grab one, and it was not bad. I had a, I had a, I had a, I had a, I had a point in time where it was I was eating nothing but Butterfingers. Um. Baby bottle pop, eh, it's for kids. Only Oscars was cracking. Why in small screen? I don't know. I didn't have time to get the other stuff together. Sue me. Uh, tart and tiny sweet tarts. Again with the chalky candy. This chat is full of yummy candy haters. I'm gonna lurk and talk mess about most of all, most of y'all. Good and plenty. I'm with you. Chewy spree. I. Chewy Spree was good. Hanging Hill, you're back up there. You're back up there, buddy. Charms and Dum Dum Pops, always. Oh, Charms. Hey, hey, Melly Mel. Charms was the Man, Charms Pops were great. They definitely beat all of those, all the suckers. And you know why? Charms, it wasn't round like a Tootsie Pop or a Blow Pop. It was flat. And it was uh, just a tad bit thinner, but it was they, they they had some good candy. The charms pops taste really good. Dum Dums are hella small. You eat like twelve of them, man, just to just to get some taste off of them before it go away. 
Uh, might be like all the candies I don't eat on Halloween. Might, might be put that shit out for Halloween. None of the kids come to his house. Man, if you put out candy corn, peeps, and black licorice, no one's coming to your house on Halloween. Like, they might egg your house. They, if you come bring that to St. Louis, they'll, they'll, yeah, that might do more than egg your house. Yeah, they'll, they, they'll, they get mad. These kids get mad right here. <laughs> uh, uh, how many legs does it take to get to center of the Tootsie Pop? 364, uh, apparently. One, a two, a three, three. Dark chocolate covered cherries. You can eat those by yourself in the dark, in a corner, all alone with a rat. I'm not. I don't want it. I don't want it. The chocolate Tootsie Roll Pops are awesome. I don't like Tootsie Pops at all. Whistle suckers. I remember those. I remember whistle suckers. Um, only problem with that is that while you're eating the sucker, the saliva getting into the whistle, and then by the time you blow the whistle, the saliva just splurts out all over the place. Uh, gum out of the 80s tops bat, uh, baseball uh, card pack. I remember that. Um, the Garbage Pail Kids, did they have. Did the Garbage Pail Kids have some sort of. Gum attached to their carts. Corn from the guy pushing the cart down the street with cheese and chilies. Is that Mexican street corn you're talking about? We we talking about candies and gums, and you just brought in Mexican street corn out of nowhere. <laughs> My wife keeps saying maple nut candies. I'm not a fan. She hasn't been able to find it later. I have no idea what maple nut candy is. June vertical streaming. Hey, June. Uh, I don't know about here, but the blue brush lollipop was the best in the 90s in Puerto Rico. I'm not sure about a blue brush lollipop. Charms had cherry, grape, orange, blueberry, and sour charms. Charms were delicious. Payday or Mr. Peanut Bar? I'm going for a payday all day. Is it just me... Or do all doctors seem to get the same candy that has the same weird taste afterwards? They they all have adopted that doctor that, that doctor office taste smell. Uh, that jerky that was shredded almost to dust in the small can. I remember that. What was that called? Ah, I remember that. Love street corn. Three ten. What's cracking? Uh, Miss Pal's bubble gum, straight maple syrup, says Hagen Hill. Baby bottle pops, but you make a drink using all the powder. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. Uh, gum was attached to the garbage pail kids in the 80s cards. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm with it. Uh, listen, you guys. Bear tracks is like soft gingerbread with a thin layer. I remember those. Remind me of like windmills. The the cookie that was in the shape of a windmill. I think it has some sort of cinnamon into it though. Uh, cinnamon, cin cinnamon, wind more cinnamon or something. Anyway, I could go all night with this, you guys. I am. I've I've got to do some. I've got to do some work in this basement. I've got to clean this tank. That's why I didn't even show these tanks. Like I've got all kind of algae on here because I left the light on for a few days. I got to get them some food. I got to go ahead and I got to fill this joker up. They, we about 50%. We in need of that for my discus tank. Yeah, they ready to eat too. Um, then my 60 gallon needs some help. I need to go get them together over there. I need to probably fill up the frontosa and the compressor set tank. A lot of work to do that I'm probably not going to do like I'm saying I'm doing it right now. But either way, I got to get it cracking. So listen, join me right here again. Same time, same channel. Uh, don't hesitate to uh, subscribe. Make sure that you uh, hit the like button. And um, I will bring up another fish topic where we don't talk about fish at all. And it works for me. I'm glad you guys were a part of this. Fishy Biz Aquatics, don't forget it. And always remember that the best stuff is the wet stuff. 80s babies rule. And we rocking out of this thing. And I'm out. Peace.